Let's see another example. So before this hello world three times example, uh, instead of writing hello world three times, we can create a for loop with range three. So sanity check here for you to think about what sequence does range three, the range three function, evaluate to? So it should evaluate to the sequence 0, 1, 2, because we start counting from 0, we count up to the number 3, taking steps of size 1, but not including 3, so 0, 1, and 2. And then for each value of i, we print hello world. And you might notice something interesting here. You don't have to use the variable in the body if you don't need it. In fact, oftentimes, we use these for loops we don't even use the value that uh, uh, gets assigned to the variable. Uh, oftentimes, you can use these for loops just to repeat some body of code some number of times. So it doesn't matter that, you know, regardless of what the value of i is, this body just still prints hello world. And so by doing for i in range 3, you're just making sure that the body is going to be executed three times, one for each value of i, even though i isn't being used at all. So that's very handy. Um, so I can go back over here and let's just see this in action. So for i in range 3, print hello world. So if I clear my terminal here and run this code, we see hello world gets printed three times. If you want to, you can use the value of i. So I could say uh, stir i plus maybe a dot here so this looks kind of prettier. If I run this code, we see 0 hello world, 1 hello world, 2 hello world. Um, but you don't have to. If you don't, um, the body just gets executed for each new possible value of uh, in our range, in our sequence there. But Ranges are not the only kind of sequence. There's a reason that I call them a sequence and not a range. Where else have you heard this word before, this word sequence? I'll give you a couple seconds to think about it. Where else do you remember hearing the word sequence? I'll give you a hint, maybe in the types lecture. Right, so I'll give you a bigger hint here, and I'll actually show you a screenshot of a slide from the types lecture. Look at this. A string is a sequence of characters. So that is no coincidence. Um, you can also use a string as a sequence. And so uh, for car, yeah, which is short for character, in uh, Howard, the string Howard, we're going to print out that character. So to make sure we're all using the same terminology here and you're on board, what do we call this car here? That is a variable. And this Howard here, this is a string, but a string is also a sequence. So a string is a kind of sequence because it's a sequence of characters. So when we run this code, we go back over here, I'll comment out code that I have written already. For car in range, oops, for car in Howard, print car. So that's kind of fun. Um, here's a challenge question for you. Is there some way that you could print out every character in Howard uh, using a range sequence? So let's say we have the word equals Howard. How else could we implement this for loop using a range of some sort? So pause the video for a couple seconds, think about it, and then I'll go through it with you. Okay, we're back. So here's a hint. Remember how in the last lecture we learned about slice uh, indexing. 
So we can get the ith character in Word by having these brackets at the end and putting some number here, i, which may be a variable, or to be precise, like 0 will get us um, h, 1 will get us o, because we start counting from 0, so uh, the letter o is index 1, and so on and so forth. So what you want to do is you want to iterate uh, over each index um, for the word that we have here, which is Howard. So for i in range, and what do we want our range to go up to? We want to count up all the way to the length of the word. And then all we have to do is print out the index, the, the character at index i. Now you might ask, wait a second, length of the word, range, with just one um, one argument here, we'll go up to, but not including the length of the word. Uh, so doesn't that mean we'll skip the last character? No, it doesn't. Why? Because remember that we index starting from zero and not from one, and so the length length of Howard is one two three, four, five, six. But notice that the index of the last character is five. So we have H O O W A R D. Whoops. So the next zero, one, two, three, four, five. So d is index 5 because we start counting from 0. And so when we do for i in range length word, we're counting up from 0 up to the length of the word, but not including that length, which is very convenient because our last character is the length of the word minus 1. So if we run this, we should see that Howard gets printed twice. And just to separate these, I'll add a line so we can see that our second solution prints out Howard just the same way. So oftentimes in programming, there's multiple ways to solve the same problem.